Hello everyone, assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you. Let's um, talk about prayer, salah. Salah is an Arabic word and it basically means prayer. So we said when you become a Muslim, meaning, uh, so we already talked about the, the six pillars of belief. And then once you have that, it's, it's like, okay, now I believe it, let's, let's get started. What do I do? You take your shahada, which we learned in our previous lesson. It's a testimony of faith. It's a covenant, it's an oath. Uh, that you're taking and you're saying, yep, I'm a Muslim, meaning I am the one who submits. And the first requirement, and again, there's five pillars. We already said that the first pillar is, um, first pillar is Shahada, right? Shahada, which is a testimony of faith. And let me just write down all of these pr uh, pillars, just in case I haven't done that before, but prayer, and then we have fasting, and then we have, um, you know, charity. And I'll give you the Arabic terms later when we get into those. But uh, and then we have pilgrimage. Pilgrimage. All right. So these are the five pillars. One we already talked about the shahada. Now we're getting into prayer. Now when I say prayer, I'm not just talking. Uh, you know, you sit at the corner of your house or some some place, and you say, "Oh God, give me this, give me that," and you start. You know that that could be some way of you know talking to God, but there's a formal way of um, of prayer in Islam. Now, what you need to know that in Islam, when we talk about these prayers, uh, they're not um, they're not done you know whenever you feel like it or once a week, right? Because you're submitting yourself your whole life to Allah, to God. You want to make sure that you're constantly reminded. Uh, why are you here? What's the purpose? And that is done five times a day. Now it might seem very hard, but timings are basically five times, five times a day, not a week, not a month, not once in your lifetime, but five times a day. Now, what are those timings? And I'll show you, you know, you might have seen it on TV or internet, um, you know, what those prayers look like, but there's, there's five daily prayers. And let's give you all the timings. One is early morning. Early morning. And I'm talking before sun rises. Right? So let's say this is the horizon. And um, and the sun, as soon as basically, you know, this is how the sun comes out and it comes up. And then now here's the sun all the way to the top. But if you, you know, wake up early in the morning, if you're able to, uh, in a place like desert or somewhere where there's no not tall buildings or even houses uh, go in a plain field you know look towards the east and the 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 tip of the sun you still see light outside but the tip of the sun hasn't reached up yet not you know basically the uh, the horizon is you can't see it yet that's basically the time of early morning prayer meaning uh, before that so you have to make sure when the sun is basically you know below the horizon like right here somewhere you got to make sure that you are praying your early morning before it starts coming out, before you can see it. And um, and that's what we call the sunrise, right? So this is the early morning. This is before sunrise. And then the day goes on. You start working, and then it's about noon. And uh, noon doesn't always mean 12 o'clock. Okay, so we'll get into that when we get into detail about how to pray. This, this lesson is just talking about what prayer is, what are the timings, what's the benefit, um, so you're praying at noon, basically when the sun is, um, pretty much to its peak, right? So this is just the noon prayer. Um, you know, after the sun begins to decline from its, from its top most point that it's going to reach, um, and then, um, until it is about midway on its, you know, course to setting. Um, usually in our life, we're so busy with our city life that we don't even look at the sun. Uh, but it's coming out, it goes up, and then it starts going down. But the, the noon prayer is basically uh, that time. Then we have mid-afternoon. Mid-afternoon. And then we have sunset. We have sunset. What does this mean? When this Now when the sun starts going down, basically when it's at this level, right? Where it's um, uh, the top has gone down, but there's still some, some light outside. And uh, but that you can't see the sun. That's basically sunset, of course, because the sun has set. And now it's time to pray the sunset prayer. And then we have evening. Basically, the sun is probably way, way down now from the horizon that you can't even, you know, it's just 
there's no light outside or right? it's complete dark and that should be your bedtime almost but uh, a little bit before that you pray your evening prayer these are the five daily prayers how do you pray it what's the uh, you know um, are they all the same way things like that we can talk about it in detail but the key is uh, that really shows that this is probably one of the only religions out there which is constantly reminding you and the five daily prayers are so easy all of them are gonna probably take five to ten minutes at the most and um, there's um, uh, you know you're you're basically uh, reminded yourself about God why are you here uh, contemplate upon the uh, the verses from the Quran that you will be reciting in these prayers you might think it's hard but while you're working you can always take a break um, go to the side, you know, wherever you are at your office, or if a mosque is close by, you go to the mosque and pray. And it takes five, you know, five to ten minutes, and you're done. That's um, Muslim being reminded um, about his purpose and uh, connecting. And one of the, the 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 meaning of salah is basically connecting, right? So in, in order to connect to Allah, in order to connect to God, the best way is to prayer. Now, prayer according to the way He has taught us. Okay, so these timings cannot be, yeah, you know what, early morning is too hard for me. I'm going to just pray when I'm about to go to work. No, it doesn't work like that. So there are some conditions. And let's get into a little bit about what those uh, conditions are. And, um, and it is important that, you, you know, when you, again, you can't do it your way. Uh, five daily prayers is already easy. Okay, and we'll talk about why why is that. But it's, it's simply um, you're just uh, taking some time off. But don't do it your way. Do it according to the way God has asked you to do. So some of the conditions, very quick, this is very high level. Um, you have to have a clean body, okay? Clean clothes and a clean, you know, place of prayer. And then you have, uh, of course, your uh, the time has to be, you know, if you're praying the morning prayer, you can't be praying morning prayer at night time. Um, it has its own time, so you got to pray on on those times, and you have um, uh, basically um, you have to pray again for a kid. Is it is it mandatory for for a kid to be praying? No, of course not. Uh, but you have to be mature. You know, you have to have the age of maturity, which is you know commonly known as puberty. Um, you have to be mature. You have to be sane. You can't be drunk, right? And, uh, and not knowing what you're saying, you have to know what you're saying. And uh, so these are some, some of the conditions, very high level, uh, when you're about to pray, um, you know, some of the conditions that you have. Now, when I, now, you might have something in mind, okay, what does it mean when you pray? How does it look like? So I have some, some pictures that, that, that I would like to share with you. Now, here's a, here's a picture that I have for um, when a person is about to pray. It starts off by just, you know, in the standing position, right? You can see this this little boy is in a standing position. And then he bows down. This is the bowing down position. Then he stands up again. And now this is prostration, which is uh, basically putting your head to the ground, right? And then each step has some words that you have to say. Then this is just the sitting position. Again, there's another prostration. And then the sitting position. Right, so these are some of the so actually the only positions that you can have when you're praying those five daily prayers. Right, and then we have a um, this is just a typical mosque right here. This is a mosque. Uh, in Arabic, you will also hear the word masjid. This is a typical mosque where people are praying. Now, one thing you will realize if you go to any mosque, and like let's say if I have a bird's eye view, right? There's north, there's south, east, west. And the mosque typically is going to be not, you know, exactly how you expected it to be. It won't be just straight like this. It will be a little bit tilted, depending on the location. Now, why is that? Now, this mosque, of course, you know, a straight mosque. But if you look at it from outside, it's not direct, most likely not facing directly towards north or east or west usually like our, our houses and buildings are this is actually uh, facing towards the holy mosque in current day Mecca right this is called the Kaaba the Kaaba which is in uh, modern day Saudi Arabia that's the country and um, and the city is called Mecca M-E-C-C-A 
and you will see that people are around it, right? So now North America can be, let's say, over here, off the of Saudi Arabia. Uh, maybe China is over here somewhere, you know. And then you have um, Canada might be up here. I don't know, right? So basically, it's a, a, you're going. You you have to face the Kaaba. That is your what you're facing towards. It's a symbol that this is this is basically the ma main mosque in Islam, and this is what we face. We're not worshiping the Kaaba. We're facing towards it, so it gives a universal direction for all the Muslims across the globe to be facing five times a day, every single day they're facing the same location. It shows a unity uh, that gets built amongst the hearts of all the Muslims around the world. So when you're at a mosque, of course over here you're seeing it as a straight row, but the closer you get uh, to the Kaaba, you can see that the line, this is the closest you ever get to the Kaaba. Uh, so that's, you know, this big black ball box is called the Kaaba and um, and people are around it and um, and the further you go and you go get to different countries different cities and you're basically facing have a just a high level directional um, way toward the towards the Kaaba so if you're traveling first thing you need to figure out is is okay it's time to pray where do I pray you can't just you know start doing these moves right here and and call it a prayer you have to make sure that the direction is towards the Kaaba that's one of the conditions of prayer and this is a high level view of how right here at this picture, how the Kaaba is. This is that that back big back black box, and uh, called the Kaaba. And around it, you these are all these little dots that you see. These are people from all over the world coming together in one in one big mosque, facing towards the Kaaba, praying to God. So let's discuss some of the benefits now. You know, we talked about how a prayer is prayed very, um, you know, very briefly. Uh, where you're directing towards, what are some of the conditions you got to be clean, which basically means you have to wash up uh, yourself uh, before you can pray. And we'll get into detail of that later, but the key is that you have to pray five times a day. Then there's another prayer, uh, every Friday prayer. So Friday prayer, you can kind of say it's the equivalent to the Christian Sunday prayer, right? So it's prayed almost the same way, but this one must be in the mosque. You have to, so all those other five daily prayers, it is highly recommended. In fact, if you're close to the mosque, you should go and pray at the mosque. But the Friday prayer is something that must be at the mosque. You can't pray it at home. It's a congregational prayer. You must be at the mosque and uh, and pray in congregation with all, with other Muslims around you. And there's a little short sermon for about 20, uh, 20 minutes to 30 minutes. Uh, a short sermon, uh, meaning a, a lecture. Uh, a small talk by the leader and um, and, and basically it's it's a way of uh, getting together with all the other Muslims and, and, and all praying together to one and only God Allah so prayer is basically you know some of the benefits again we can talk you know a lot about it but one of the, you know it's basically keeping your discipline right it teaches you discipline um, your you're working and you it shows you hey you know what I'm here for a purpose that purpose is more important than anything else that I'm trying to acquire raising my family feeding them you know trying to buy a big house a car yes my job is important my business is important but I'm gonna cut it off and show my devotion to uh, to God so it, it, it proves your devotion uh, to one and only God also it is is it is a reminder it is a reminder why you're here. What's the purpose of your life? It basically, it, it's it's the way of strengthening. It strengthens your heart. It strengthens your heart spiritually, right? And it is a somewhat of, of a physical exercise as well. But all your muscles, body coming together, directing yourself towards the Kaaba, praying to God. It's a way of reminding yourself why you're here, strengthening your heart, and um, and and making you disciplined. Uh, and 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 it basically um, uh, keeps you away from keeps you away from evil evil and why is that if you're really paying attention to what you're saying in your prayer that you're in front of Allah reminding yourself that he's always um, always reminding you uh, always always watching you then uh, know that even after outside of your prayer he's watching you as well so anything you're about to do which is against the commands of God um, which which is an evil action then uh, prayer is actually protecting you from that so many many benefits uh, we can you know have a whole lesson on this 
and uh, how to have concentration in prayer, how to pray, how to wash yourself for prayer. All of that that is coming up, but this was just a very high level introduction to what it means for a person. When, when we say the five pillars of Islam, what are those? Testimony of faith we already took care of. Prayer is what we just t took care of right now. Um, what does it mean when we say these five daily prayers and we have the Friday prayer and, uh, and what's the benefit? Um, so now we'll get on with our next um, next pillar of of Islam, the next pillar of submission. Uh, but this is it for prayer. Thank you.